six months ago, I wrote off Bed Slingers for good. I literally turned my last one into a coffee table ornament. Why wrestle with moving beds and physics when newer Core XY machines gave me control? Hi, I'm Nick, and I've been successfully running a 3D printing business with the ease and automation of my core. This is how it started. A rather large brown box sitting at my doorstep. Prusa sent me their Mark IVs, and I couldn't just not use it, right? What started as a test turned into, well, maybe a confession. I immediately had a flurry of thoughts. What if everything I thought I knew about bed slingers was wrong? What if Prusa cracked the code everyone else missed? But that's ridiculous. My H2Ds are basically laughing at me for even having the thought. Besides, what do I even print on this thing? My workflow is built on multicolored jobs and complex assemblies, so I found the perfect spot for it. Life went on until one day... See, that's the problem with 3D printing as a business. Other people are paying for this real estate. I literally can't print him anything. Do you not see that they're all occupado? And then it hit me. I did have a printer available. So out came the Mark IVs. It was rigid, blocky, almost DIY-ish with its partially 3D-built frame and parts, but also kind of endearing, nostalgic. Since this was your idea. Okay, I like Batman, my brother likes Batman. A cowl is no joke of a challenge for this thing. Let's go grab the filament because I know my brother is going to wonder, does it come in black? Well, uh, no, I guess it doesn't. And that was it. There was no turning back. This printer was my brother's only hope. The deciding factor as to whether he'd be hero or zero at whatever middle-aged party he was attending. But you know, getting to this point already had my gears turning on some things. I think Prusa may be looking at this whole thing differently. They know the market has gone all Core XY. They even have their own, like the Core 1. But still they press on with premium old school varieties. That's why every component on this thing seems to scream intentionality. It's got a 360 degree cooling shroud. Apparently this means it supports overhangs at 75 degrees. I mean, even the H2Ds would have to support those. A ceramic heater, carbon fiber composite parts, something called a love board runs input shaping. I can see it working. The bed moves, the cheap table moves. Vibration should happen. This print should be in trouble, but it's not. Instead of LiDAR probing, it uses load cell sensing. You feel the nozzle gently tap the plate and it just works more consistently than I expected. Time ticks on and the Mark IVs is actually laying down clean print lines. I've got some time, so I'm thinking about why I chose this model. Because the Batman cowl isn't just a mask. It's a history of reinvention under pressure. 1939, basically Superman with wings. Bill Finger says, give him a cowl, make him dark, and everything changes. 1960s camp, 1989 sculpted rubber, Nipples. 2008, finally something real and functional. Each era solved the last one's problems. That's what's happening here. Physics says this print should fail, but the algorithms are winning. But I'm still a skeptic. 
This thing has 15 hours to go. That's a long time for things to go wrong, especially with this many moving parts. Core XY just gives you that peace of mind. The bed slowly lowers, and there's more control. This Mark IVs is whipping back and forth at 200 millimeters per second. It should fail. And then it's done. Like actually done. Not a break or a chip or a layer shift in sight. It's just beautiful. Bright prusament azure blue usually shows everything, every flaw, and yet sharp lines, smooth curves, tolerances for the magnets, they're dead on. The overhangs above the eyes, zero droop. That cooling system isn't just marketing. Yeah, my H2Ds would have finished faster, 14 hours on this model versus 23, but Prusa traded speed for consistency. Each layer, is the same. So here's the truth. The question wasn't, can a bed slinger compete? It was, did Prusa solve what everyone else couldn't? My brother got his mask. More importantly, I got something I didn't expect. Respect for something I'd written off. In two weeks, I ran 23 jobs, zero failures. My other printers can't claim that. Runout detection worked flawlessly every time, and loading new filament was easier than I've experienced elsewhere. Will it replace my Core XY fleet? No, it can't keep up with the shop demand. Speed still wins there, but for jobs where reliability and surface finish matter most, this printer has earned its spot. My farm looks the same, but somehow everything's different, because now I know something I didn't before. Sometimes the past isn't obsolete. It just needed the right engineering to evolve. The Mark IVs isn't just another bed slinger. It's proof that with the right design, even the old rules don't apply. And maybe the most important discoveries happen when we're brave enough to be wrong. Thanks for watching. <laughs>